what's up guys welcome to my vlog becoming an ultra runner my name is Cameron and this week I'm going to talk to you all about the training I've been doing the last 12 weeks so if you guys saw a video that I made back in December I talked about how I was going to start on this 12 week program at a place called sport function so Initially I contacted uh, this guy there, Pete, and he talked to me about uh, the kind of things he could help me with. I emailed him and said, you know, look, I'm having these problems uh, with running, usually training once my, my volume increases. Um, I tend to pick up this same injury and it has me out for X amount of weeks. I feel like I know what it is, but I can't seem to combat it properly. So um, went and talked to him, had an assessment, and we kind of agreed to, to start this 12 week program. So a lot of it was um, at first learning skills and movements, uh, stuff that kind of should be the kind of the natural, more natural way to move. Um, but for some reason my body was, was doing something different. You know, maybe it was using the least amount of energy or it was it was what my body's just used to like you know i've been doing it the same way for 30 years or whatever so we started learning these new skills and these new patterns and then um, kind of slowly introduced the run-in after a few weeks um, and i'm going to put a picture up on screen now this is a picture of me um, at six weeks and again at 12 weeks so if you can see at six weeks into the program my knee was collapsing in quite a bit um, and my ankle was rolling in as well and then on the right you can see it's uh, significantly improved i've got to the point now where there's a the line between my hip knee and ankle is, is very much straight and my ankle isn't rolling in quite as much as it was before so first of all the picture shows there has been some improvement over the last 12 weeks particularly the kind of the way it looks uh, when i'm running but for me personally it just feels completely different running at the moment. Um, more, most importantly, I feel really light on my feet, it's almost very bouncy, like it's requiring a lot less energy to, to run. And not only that, I'm running faster doing it. So uh, on my last session um, a couple of weeks ago, you know, I was saying that um, when we were doing down to the end of the, the car park and back, you know, I was running kind of faster um, splits than I had ever been running before and it felt easier a lot easier than just my casual jog um, so yeah things have really really improved but obviously I know that's not it like I can't just um, expect to be fixed now and continue with what I used to do and expect it not to come back so the, the skills that I've learned and the kind of exercises and all the different things that have come together to help me improve I'm gonna need to continue doing so um, up until recently I had daily exercises um, and I had a few other exercises that I did maybe twice a week as part of my strength sessions. So the exercises that I do as part of my strength session will continue to be there because I felt that they've been really beneficial in strengthening muscles that have been quite weak for me. Um, but the, the daily ones I'm probably going to go to be in every other day and or maybe possibly on days that i'm running so at the moment i'm running four days a week so it could be that yeah four out of seven days i'll be doing these um these kind of daily exercises that mostly are just skills and kind of movements to kind of I don't know, open up my ankle a little bit and almost like you're running drills to kind of get you used to perform in a particular way so anyway, I've, I've seen massive improvement over the last 12 weeks and I'm going to show you some of those exercises at some point in the future when I do my next video on my strength training because it will have changed from ones I've done previously. Um, I do recommend though to anyone who's kind of got problems with running, so maybe they have picked up kind of injuries that have happened more than once, so like a chronic injury of some kind, but yeah, you do go and see a professional and let them help you um, it's, it always is really fun to kind of read about these things online and like learn a lot more about what's happened but really there are people that know what they're doing and can help you combat it and they might have things that you just won't read about on the internet or they might tell you something that's completely different to what you've read and 
you can work through with them. So I, honestly, I would really recommend it to anyone and I would absolutely 100% recommend Sport Function as well. Um, I will absolutely be going back probably reasonably regularly. We talked about either going in maybe a few weeks before a race just to see that uh, you know I haven't reverted back to kind of old habits or I haven't picked up any new problems with it. You know, I am working right. So that 12 weeks of running has led me to this point now where I've completed a training block um, to be ready for a race, which is in three days time. And at no point over that last 12 weeks have I picked up any sort of injury um, or niggles. So really, really happy with those results. Um, just to get to this point where I can do a race, I'm really happy because it's been a while since I've completed a training block like this. So. The race I am going to be doing is a 45k and that is on the southwest coastal path. Um, it's by a company called the Trail Events Company and if you guys have watched my previous videos I've talked about them several times. I really rate their races, well organised and usually on really good courses, lots of fun single track sections, loads and loads of hills and usually in beautiful places as well like coastal paths and up in Brecon, up in the Beacons and things like that. So like really really great races um, so I signed up for this race ages and ages ago because I had it as a free race entry um, and then about three weeks ago I went on their website because I was going to look at the elevation profile for the race kind of look at how many big climbs they were and how long they lasted etc so I was going to go and train those those climbs and train like a part of the routes locally if I could try and replicate it as good as I can um, but there wasn't an elevation profile and a map for the 45k, but they did have one for half the distance. So I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. So I read the description again, and it turned out it's for 22.5k distance, but twice. Um, so initially I was really, really disappointed. I was a bit gutted. I was like, oh, you know what? There are other races close by that were, they like, weren't looped courses. And I was thinking, you know, should I put this one off? Um, and do this other race, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it and I'm gonna attempt it. Um, but my biggest thing was, I never really liked the idea of a looped course. You know, no one really wants to run the same thing twice. You'd rather have a completely unique course, especially when it's trail and you get to be exploring coastal paths and mountains. You want it to be unique. Um, but I decided now to incorporate that in my training. So for the last three weeks on my long runs, I have been doing looped courses. So if I go back three weeks ago, I did 12K twice to do a 24K run. And then I did 15K twice to do a 30K run. And then last weekend I did 17K twice to do me a nice 34K run. Um, so that leads me on now to the 45K. Um, and now I, th I think I'm mentally ready for this race. You know, I was definitely put off by the fact I had to run it twice. And I'd probably say the biggest thing that I've learned from running a looped course in training recently is that the first loop is the hardest, um, particularly mentally, because you're always, you always know that you're still in the first half of the race. You've got to get back to that start point. And what I noticed as soon as I got onto the second loop, instantly it felt easier um, mentally, but then obviously physically it was a lot tougher because you just put a couple of hours into your legs and you're going out again. Um, so I noticed that three weeks in a row, you know, it's definitely harder at the start. So um, I imagine it's going to be the same on the day. So I will just go out and try and enjoy the views as much as I can, take it easy and really just take it easy on my legs in the first loop and, um, and enjoy a really really new beautiful course and then yeah let's see what happens in the second half hopefully uh, I'll be back next week with a race video for you guys because I'm going to take the cameras along I absolutely have to film it um, I've filmed quite a few of their races previously I've done one for Lulworth Cove and I've done one for Exmoor when I did half marathons there so those videos should be up there somewhere now um, and yeah I really recommend watching those to see what it's like um, and like I said, yeah, I'll be back next week with one of those videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe and there'll be more videos soon. If you'd like to wish me luck in the comments below, please do. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.